The two-dimensional case of linear program is already more complicated. So in this problem, we have two unknowns. We have x1 and x2. And again, the input includes all the C values, all the B values, and all the A values. So now let's try to understand what uh, this problem and get some intuition about this. The same way in 1D that we represented all possible values of x1 using one axis, here we have two unknowns, so we have two variables. So therefore, to represent all possible values for the unknowns x1 and x2, we have to consider the plane. So in this representation, the x-axis represent the x-axis represents all possible values of x1, and the y-axis represents all possible values of x2. Therefore, a point here with a particular coordinate, say vw, represents a choice of value v for x1 and a choice of value w for x2. For example, the point for 2 represent the case where x1 is 4 and x2 is 2. Before understanding this objective function, let's try to understand what constraints mean. So let's look at one constraint. So let's look at um, this constraint. I want to claim that this constraint is equivalent to forbidding an entire half plane. So let's try to understand what this constraint means. It means that I need, for, every, for a, if I pick a point, x1, x2, this point satisfies the cons this constraint if this inequality is true. What this means is that I should not, it should not be the case that this the other way holds. In other words, it should not be the case that a11 x1 plus a12 x2 should be bigger than b1. In other words, this is forbidden. What is the region of space where this inequality holds, where a11 x1 plus a12 x2 is bigger than b1? Well, we can see that that's an equation of a line. And so therefore, that's going to be one side of the line, depending on the signs of these uh, numbers. So maybe let me give you an example. If, um, let's say this is 1 and this is minus 1, and let me just represent this by x, because that's my x coordinate and that's my y coordinate, and let's say this is 0. What this uh, turns, this inequality turns into x minus y less than 0, or in other words, x should be smaller than y. So therefore, the forbidden case is when x is bigger than y, which, if I draw the coordinate system, which subset of the plane have this property? Well, it's going to be draw the line through origin. It goes like this. And in this half, x is larger than y. So that is forbidden. Okay. In general, every line or every constraint represent a forbidden region and we want to overlay them so if if a point is forbidden by one of the constraints it's forever forbidden so we add the next constraint and that constraint forbids that piece and so on so we lay them all and again luckily we hope that there is a region of a space where uh, it is not forbidden in the in the exercise classes we're going to prove that this feasible region is actually convex. Um, so this picture is not misleading. It actually looks the, like a convex region because it is convex, and we're going to prove it in the class. Again, similar to one-dimensional case, the feasible region is the region of all possible values for x1 and x2 that satisfy all of these constraints, which means that if you pick any point from this region, all of these end constraints are satisfied. But that's not what we want to solve, right? We want to pick one particular point in this feasible region that it minimizes this function. How do we do that? Well, to do that, first we need to understand what this means, what, what it means to minimize this linear function. And we're going to look at that in the next video.